So a little shrimp pattern. Um, really not difficult to tie, but very, very effective. Um, a lot of people use bugs, sort of really bright stuff. Here's an example. It's a, a shrimp. It's even got some UV on the back of it. But I mean, look how bright that is compared to a proper drab shrimp. Something that looks like um, food. And that's what we're going to tie. We're going to tie this. Um, a really good fly. Now, the other thing is you can do, you can take a pen across the back of it. This is a chestnut one, which I really like. And the other colour I would use is olive. Um, simple flies to tie, just getting the proportion right is the key. So let's go ahead and tie them. We'll start off with one of these in the vise. Um, any grub hook or chickening hook works. But don't get into the habit of tying these um, right round the bend. Forgive my, my nail polish. My daughter got some... Um, <laughs> forgot about that. My daughter got some nail polish for Christmas. So, brown thread. You can use anything really, but this is handy, so it goes well with the fly also. So you're coming down not too far around. So there's like a straight edge. If I take it right to that bend, it'll be a straight line to the eye of the hook. That's basically where I want it. And I've got soft partridge feathers. So sort of the, the fatter feather, if that makes sense. Not the small coverlets that we use for spiders, etc. This stuff's just a little bit softer in the fibre. And for the tail, what we'll do is we'll come up to the middle Take a couple of turns and just see um, where we are with this. So you can see we want quite a, a short tail. We didn't want fibres flapping about all over the place. There you go, nice spiky tail. And that's in the middle. Keep that in the middle. Now we're going to do the same at the head. So same again. Grab some of the partridge feathers. We'll just snip that at the centre. Anything else here, which I can see. Now we've got to do the same again. We line it up, and it just basically evens the body up. So see where we are. A couple of turns. Oh, a bit too far up the body there. Let's just do one to rock in place. So that's just a bit long. So we'll pull it back a little bit. Make sure we get all the fibres. Let's pull that back, and then. Make sure we just lock it in place, top of the hook shank, like so. And then come down to the same bit in the middle, and what you've done is you've created an even body. Now you can with this add lead, however I tend to fish this on a dropper with a heavy fly on the point, hence I've not got lead on it. It's amazing just how many of my flies, especially my bugs, shrimps and bugs, don't have weight, because I've got a heavy fly on the bottom, and um, with a thinner bit of tippet, it allows us to fish a little bit better. So, in with your nylon. This is four or five pound nylon. And then we've got this stuff, which I really like. It's Finyard's body stretch and it's clear. And the reason I like this, it's got like a, a shiny side and a dull side. We've got to tie with the dull side up. Um, but it's quite fat. You can see that it's really quite thick, too thick for this shrimp. So what I've done is I've just took a, a pair of scissors and if I can find my sections, I've just cut it in half. Um, and the reason I've got to cut it in half is it just makes a better body shape. Right, kind of find the bottom section, so I'll just cut another bit. So all I'm going to do is this, I'm going to put this on a board. I've got a little board here and just take a craft knife down the centre. So I'll just cut the section off that I want and then I'll just move everything to the side here in with my craft knife and then just a straight line you can see there where I've cut that line and just separate it so you see I've got two sections and then 
I'm going to look at have the, the dull side over the back, so just make sure you turn the shiny side on the top here. Lock it in place, anywhere in the middle of the hook shank, and then just keep everything tight. And what that'll do is it'll stop any of the sides creasing. So there you go, that's tight. And now when, so the original one I was using was a uh, fox squirrel. I'm now using this which is a natural grey, it's called stickle dub, I like the fibres on it. Um, it's great for pulling out lots of spikier guard hairs if that makes sense. So when you pull it out, you really get the benefit. Now I want quite a lot of this because I'm going to pull fibres out of the legs. So don't be scared to put a fur, fur, fur whack on. Start have a thin section, you can see the thin section there at the tail, come in, thin section covering that thread, your middle section will be a little bit fatter, and I'll start tapering off again towards the head, there you go, like so, now you can see all the, the spiky guard hairs on that, now what we're going to do is we're going to come up, and make sure that this is in line, now the best way to do this is with your thumb and forefinger, your non bobbing hand is just grip it and then just a pinch and loop. Lock that in place. All I'm going to do is just check either side and make sure that we're happy with that. Which I am. A couple of locking turns and then. I always put a, a little look and turn in there and because this stuff is like a vinyl stretchy material we can really go to town and pull this really taut and snip it there. So now what we're going to do, let's check that side again, happy. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to tighten everything up. Just tighten the vice up as well. So come through this, through the fibres and over the shell back. Give yourself a decent spacing between each segment. Now some people like a lot, some people not so much. Me, I prefer it even all the way up. Like so. And then a look and turn the thread. Another couple. And with your scissors there, yeah, just snip that. Just you can see that shrimpy profile just spot on and wind for the the eye back up just stop in there and come in snip that off and then all you want to do is dubbing brush pull those fibers out Tiny bit of varnish. And there you go. That's the, the finished shrimp. A great fly to tie for a really fussy fish. And to be fair, works really well in still waters as well. So go ahead and try it.